Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and tonight I'd like to continue with the fish series. I did a coho salmon previously and tonight I want to do a bass fish. You know, they're a very popular fish and a lot of fishermen like to catch them. And uh, I'd like to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you the types of clay that we'll be using or the types of clay that you can use. There's this oil-based clay, which never hardens. You can use this in, uh, this is the one I used to use as a kid all the time. And, uh, you know, it's a very good clay if you don't want to keep something permanent. There's another type of clay that you can buy in any art store, which is an air hardening clay, which hardens like in a couple of hours or overnight. And what's great about this is once you make it, then you can paint it and it will end up being permanent. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be baked in the regular home oven at 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. You can drill it, sand it, you can make a tremendous amount of detail. I'll show you the size balls of clay we'll be using tonight. Actually, I'm just going to have this one big ball of clay here to make the body. And I will be adding like fins and things to the fish, and I'll show you how to do that. We'll use the additive technique. So I will show you the fish, the bass fish. We're going to be working on making the body here, the mouth that is open. And then I'll show you how to make the body like this. So I'll show you. I'll take the ball of clay, and I'm going to just squeeze up my hands like that. What we can probably do is I'm going to put this down on the table and roll it a little bit. This is going to make it a little easier to make longer and spread it out. See that? The, um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I also want to put this down on the table and kind of flatten it on one side. I'm going to take, I want to make the tail. So I'm going to take this. And then, see how this, I'm flattening the tail. See, I'm pinching it with my thumb and finger. And, gonna, and then I'm going to kind of make that, the tail and round that a little bit. So keep pinching it. Just like that. In, or, in order to do the, the mouth, See how that is? I'm going to take, I want to make this rounded like this. See the rounded lip and then the rounded lip on the bottom? And then I had taken and I put my finger in there to kind of make that hole. So we're going to proceed to do that. So we're going to kind of, I'm going to start pulling that a little bit like that. The lower jaw, see how I'm going to pull that out a little bit? See how I'm doing that? And then what we're going to do, and then I'm going to just kind of pull out a little bit, put my thumb in there. So I'm going to push, see I'm pushing my thumb down. So then we can then what I want to do is we kind of need to kind of round that out a little bit. So see that? See how I'm taking my finger and my thumb and just kind of doing that? See how I'm making that right there? Just I'm rounding it out. And then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. See, we're going to round that out. Just like that. And then what I want to do is compare it to make sure that they're roughly approximately the same size. See that for, I'll hold that up. They're approximately the same size. And, uh, 
I'll uh, continue to work on the body. What I want to do now is I want to smooth this out like this. See this how I'm smoothing out the body? I'm going to take this and smooth that out just like that. And then I'm going to take and smooth that out here. See, I'm taking my thumb and I'm just running my thumb along the, the length of the body. And then I'm going to smooth this out here too. See that? Just smooth it out nicely. Just like that. Now, now that we have that done, the next thing that I want to do is I want to make the eye. So I'm going to take the sculpting tool there. See, it's got the triangular shape. And I'm going to take and just right about here, just take a piece of clay out. It looks all right. I have another tool that I want to use that's more rounded. See how this has got the rounded? I'm going to try to round that out a little more. See that? I think it came out a little better. See the, the eye now? And what we're going to proceed to do is I'm going to take clay. I'm going to use the additive technique. I've got some clay over here. And I'm going to make an eyeball. I want to make sure it's about the right size. I'll show you. See that right there in my hand? That's roughly the size we want. And I'm going to take and I'm going to put that back. I'll put it in, see if it's about the right size. It appears to be right there. Then what I want to do also is just kind of go around this a little bit. To, I'm going to take the toothpick, just kind of go, go around it a little bit. Make sure it's nice and round, push it in like that. And then what I want to do is I'm going to take and make an eyelid up above. So I'm taking a piece of clay here, and I'll show you approximately that size right there. And we'll take and I'll show you what I do. I'm going to pull it like this. See what I'm doing there? Just like that. See the shape that I just made? I'm going to take and put that over the eye. Right here. And I'm going to work it in. And from this side, I'm going to kind of work that in like that. Just like that. And now I want to see if it's how close it is to the one I had did before. What we need to do is I need to push back the clay a little bit here. Push that back. And then what I want to do is I want to take the toothpick now and I want to kind of draw the eyeball on there. So I'm going to take that and just do that like that. So I'm drawing the eyeball there. See how I did that? In, uh, now we got the eye. And now the, we want to add a few more other things. We want to add I want to take a piece of clay like this that I just took and we're going to add, I'm going to make it probably longer than it actually should be and I can take some of it off and I'm going to make, uh, I'll just pinch a little piece off here. What I want to do is take and put this here. 
I'm going to pinch a little bit more off. I put too much clay on there. That's the great thing about clay. You can add or subtract from it. So this here, this will be like where the gill slit is. You see that? I'm going from both sides. And then what I also want to do is I want to take another piece of clay. I'm just going to, I'll show you. I'm going to make it a little longer than it needs to be. See this here? And I'm going to put it right about here. Right there. Then I want to take, I have another little piece left over, and I'm going to put that right about, see that right there, that little piece? I'm going to put that right about there. And I want to compare it to my model here. And that's about, that's about right. And I'll just take... I want to just kind of push that in a little more here. See how I'm doing that? Because that's going to be kind of like the, the gill slit. So what I'm going to do now is take this and go along here. And go like that. Then I'm going to, then another thing that I would like to do is I want to rough this up a little bit on this model here. I'll show you. We're going to take our tool, and I'm going to rough this up a little bit. So I'm going to take and actually take and take some little pieces out using this right here because we're going to kind of just do that, rough this up a little bit like that. See how I did that? And then another area that I want to rough up is right about here. Kind of do the same thing. See how I'm peeling those pieces of clay out? Just peel those out. Like that. And then the next thing that I want to do, I want to look at this again. It's coming along. And I'll add a little more clay, I think. I'll show you. I want to take and add a little more clay. I'm going to take this clay here. See how I'm just taking this piece? It's not any particular size. We can, if, if it's too much, I can take it away again. I'm going to take and place that on top there. Like that. Work it in with my thumb. And then I'm going to go from behind. And then what we're going to do, so I'm going to put this down on the table just kind of push it. See how I'm doing that? Pushing that down. And, and then we'll smooth it again. Just like that. And then what we want to do is I want to create some of the fins now. See the, the fin up here? is two actually. There's this fin here and this fin here. What I'll do is I'll show you. We'll do them one at a time. I'll get a piece of clay here. I'll show you roughly the size that we want. See that size ball of clay there? That's roughly the size we want. And what I'm going to do is take this. See I'm pinching this between my fingers? And I'm going to flatten it out like that. I'm 
just like that. See, I'm flattening it. And then what I want to do is make that. I want to make this shape right here. See this shape? And then what I'm going to do is we need to make lines in it. So what I'll do, I'm going to put this on the table. And we're going to make lines. I might try to hold it at an angle so you can see it a little better. See this, how we're doing this? Kind of pull out like that. See how I'm doing that? So I'm going to put this down. It'll make it a little easier for me to finish it. But that's basically what I'm doing. So I'm going to take this and just take and make those lines. Just like that. Now what we're going to proceed to do so I'm going to put this on the back. See right there? Just like that. And I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to show you. I'm going to take this. See how I'm working that from the back? I want to make sure it will stay on the back of the fish. And then what we're going to do is I'll take the toothpick and kind of push that down into there. That way it's both sides. And then we'll kind of touch this up a little bit. So I'll try to go over that a little bit again. And now we'll proceed to do another fin. I'll show you how we'll do that. And this is approximately the size ball of clay that we want. See that there? And I'll take this, and I'll show you. Pinch it between your fingers like this, just like that. And then I'll show you the shape that we want. And. So let's see now. I've probably made it a little too big, so I'm going to take a piece off. And I'm going to see how I just took that off. And now we're going to. Okay, so what I want to do here is we're going to make lines on this one also. So I'll show you a few examples this way and then I'll complete it on, on the table. See how we do that? Just like that. And now I'll finish it in the table to make it a little easier for me to finish it. So we're gonna just like that. make those lines now I'll place that there like that and we'll do the same thing we did before see how it come, come up from behind it and we'll do that and then we'll do that now, don't worry about the proportions. If they're a little off, that's fine. But it's, I just want you to kind of learn these techniques. And the next thing that we'll do is I want to do make, start making some of the scales. So what we want to do is we'll do this right like this. See how I'm making the scales? Just like that. You just keep, Sam, just taking that. Just 
putting little scales in it with the tool. Just like this. It's a very cool technique. Very simple, very basic. I love the results once I'm completed with this. It just looks just like the fish scales. It's a simple and effective way of doing it. And it doesn't really take that long, as you can see. You just keep going, just like that. just like that. And then up here, I'm going to try to work this a little more. I'm going to put the, the fish scales in here. And then we'll do some up above here where the eye is. And then we want to do also do the same thing underneath here. Just like that. See how nice that is? It's really starting to come together now. Just like that. So just keep doing that. Just like that. See how nice that texture is for the fish scales now? And then another thing that we want to do is I want to take this toothpick now and I want to make, this is the tail of the fish, so what I want to do is take and make lines like this. See how we're doing this? And then we're going to do that right here. Just like that. Then we can flip it around. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to take and make those lines here. Just like that. And then what we'll do is we'll make a few fish scales in the the back here too. So now we're almost getting near to completion. What I want to do is I want to make a few more fins. I'll show you. We want to make the fins that we want to make right now. We want to make this fin right here. See that yellow one there? We want to make this fin and then we want to make these two smaller fins here. I'll show you, I'll proceed to show you how to make this fin down here first. So we'll take a piece of clay. I'll show you approximately the size we want. See that there? And then we'll pinch it between our fingers. May flatten it out. And then what I want to do is cut, I'll show you the, the shape that we want. See I'm kind of rounding that out a little bit. And then that's the shape that we want. See that? And then we'll take and place that underneath 
the fish right here. And what I want to do is we need to make sure that it is attached. So I'll take, see I'm kind of bringing those two together. See how I'm doing that? And then we're going to flip it to the other side. I'm going to take the toothpick and just kind of push it up against the fish like that. See, I'm taking and pushing that like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make lines. I'm going to make lines like this. See how we're doing that? Like that. And now we'll proceed to make, sure, I want to make this fin right here. And we'll take this. We'll show the size ball we want. I'll do that. See that size right there? Approximately that size. So we want to take and pinch this between our fingers now. Flatten it out. Just like that. See that? And now we're going to attach it to the fish. Right here. You know, it looks like it's a little too big, so I'm going to take some clay off of it. Pinch a little bit off there. And now, see that? And before I put that on there, I might as well make the lines in it. So I'm going to take, see this here? I'm going to go like that. Just like that. So I did that. And now, we're going to take and place the fin right here. And what I like to do is we're going to push that down, attach it like that. See, I'm pushing it in. And you have the fin. Now what we want to do is we want to make those two smaller fins that are on the bottom right now. See these two right here? And we'll proceed to make those. So I'm going to take, get a couple of pieces of clay, we're going to make them approximately this size to start. You know, I might have to take some of the clay off in a minute, but we'll at least start with those. So we're going to take these, see I'm pinching this between my fingers, make it flat. I'm going to take a little bit of clay off. It's a little too big, so. See that right there? And what I want to do is make some lines on this one. That's the shape that you want. You want it flat like that. I'm going to take and go like this. Take and just... What we can do is what I want to do is attach this to the bottom. So we'll attach it from this side first. See how I did that? Take and attach it that way. And then we'll go from the other side and I'll just do that. So now the next thing that we want to do is we want to make the last fin. So, and that's a, probably, the ball is probably a little smaller than we had done before, so. See that? Flatten it out like this. Put it like that. Now we'll draw some lines in it. Just like that. And we'll take... 
I'm going to place that um, behind like that. And that. See how we attach those? So it looks very similar to the other one that I had done. Let me see. I'll get my, get my hand out of the way so you can see. See how we did that? I'll try to get... And uh, what I'll do is I'll put this one down. You can get a better view. See? I'll try to hold it like that. You know, the... Yeah, don't worry if the, the fins up here are a little too big or a little too small. I just want you to get the techniques down so then you can practice with it. And the best way to get the, the size just exact is look at pictures. And, um, but I'm showing the basic techniques. And right now it's ready for firing in the oven. And we'll proceed to do that next. And now that we've fired the bass fish in the oven, it is now ready to be painted. I will show you the colors that we'll be using to paint it tonight. We have acrylic paints, which can be bought in any art store. There's about 18 in this package. And we're going to be using several colors. I'll show you the colors that we will be using tonight. We're going to be using green for the body. We will be using yellow for the fins. We'll be using brown for the part of the eye and the fins. We'll be using white, and then we'll be using black. And I just want to do a quick check, make sure I got all my colors that I need. As you can see, the body is green here. So painting that green, we got the white underside, we got that. And then we got the yellow for the fins. As you can see, I'm pointing to them. And the brown and the black. We do have all our colors. I'll show you which side brushes we'll be using tonight. I'm going to be using this size brush here. It's got a nice tip for the eyes, a nice fine point. I'll probably use this for doing both the black eye and the brown on the eye. For the body, I will be using a much larger brush, this size right here. And then the fins. We'll be using this size brush here for the yellow fins. And then for the white underside in the mouth, we'll be using this. And I'll just get another one more brush just as a backup. I'm going to use this size here. The first thing that we're going to do is I want to paint the eye. And we're going to I'm going to paint the black right here. See how we're doing it? Just ever so slightly. Because it's a small area that's being painted, so... Just kind of dab it like that. And now, now that we've done that, we're going to do the brown around the eye. And we're just going to dab a little bit around the eye there. See that? How we did that? Just dab a little bit around the eye. And then another area, we'll be using the brown again, but I, I want to paint the green and the yellow and the white before we do that. I want to show you, we're going to be painting the white Next, this, so the white's going to be in the mouth here. And then we're going to be painting a, a white underside for the bass. So what I want to do, see this? Dab in there for the white. Just dab and move it around. And, and then what I'm going to do, I'll flip that a little bit. I'll try to... Paint that, see how we're trying to get that. See how I did that? Because we're going to have green around the edges. But what I want to do is make sure. And then. So 
So we did that. And now I'll show you, we want to do the underside right here. Back and forth, back and forth. Just like that. And then we'll paint under here. Just like that. Back and forth. So what I'm going to do is we'll paint this here. See that? I'm going to paint around the edge. I'm going to try to paint around the white there. So I just did that. And we'll flip it over. We'll do the same thing right here. See, I'm doing that. And then, just like that. And now, we can proceed to do the top here, back and forth. Just like that. Go around. Just like that. And then back and forth. I'll hold this so you can see it. See how we did that? Look at the. Back and forth, back and forth. And then we'll do a little bit on the, the so we're doing the, the fins up here. Just like that. Just like that. So now, now I'm just going to do a little bit behind here. And now I just want to look, make sure that we didn't miss anything. And the next thing that I want to show you how to do is the, um, I'm just going to hit that a little bit more. We're going to do the yellow fins. And now we're going to paint the yellow here. See how I'm doing that? Just like that. And then we're going to be painting these right here. Just like that. Go all around like that. And then there's one more thing that we need to do. And I want to paint the brown. So now I'll put this aside. Now we're going to get the brown. And then we're going to paint up here. See that? I'm just going to kind of touch that a little bit like that. Just flick it a little bit. See how I'm doing that? Just flick a little bit. And then we'll just do a little bit up there. Just flick this a little bit, just like that. Give it a little color. And now what I'll do is I want to show you what the final version will look like. Now the bass, you can see we did the white inside the mouth. You can see the green around the lips of the fish. You can see the white underside. You can see the yellow fins. You can see the eye, it's got the nice brown color, and then in the center it's black. And then you can see that I did a little bit of brown up here. And that's what your final version of the bass should look like. And I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay, and I do look forward to seeing you again next week.
Goodbye for now.